Welcome back to Every Other Carl. I'm Carl, and today I'm going to start my process of learning how to weld. I am a complete novice. I have never touched a welder before, but I bought myself a setup from Harbor Freight. This is pretty much the cheapest way to get into welding. It's a flex core welder, the titanium 125 that plugs right into the wall. I got myself the welding helmet from Harbor Freight. Got some gloves, apron, some clamps, and the wire. I have a goal of welding a rust spot on my truck. I brought the truck to a body shop to have them give me an estimate. They said it would be about $2,000 to weld this spot. So the goal is to repair that spot myself for less than $2,000. I know that flex core welding is not the best for body work because it leaves slag, but it can be used and I wanna learn how to do it myself. All this put together with some sheet metal and bars came to a little under 300 bucks. So that is a long way from $2,000. So I feel I have a lot of leeway to practice, get better, potentially even buy a better welder if that's necessary. And then hopefully bring some of those skills over to the truck. Let's try my first weld. So I'm using this 0.30K wire. All right, I'm gonna make myself a nice little piece of test metal. I'm gonna try to do a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna use a little magnet here. I'm gonna open up my little helmet here. Okay, I think I'm ready. I got my welding apron, my helmet, my gloves. Uh, I have the machine set very low. I have it set to, I have it set between one and two and A and B on the dials. I'm going to connect my ground to a piece of metal that my weld metal is clamped to. So that should work. Uh, I think it's time to plug it in and try a weld. All right, those look like crap, but uh, that's, it's official. I did my first weld and I think I learned something. Okay, so I got virtually no penetration on that weld. This one got a little bit more. So I think I have to turn my voltage up and try again. Second attempt is not looking much better. All right, let's look at this mess. All right, after grinding it down, it honestly doesn't look terrible for a really a first weld. I don't know if you can tell, but it straight up burned right through some spots. And let's see if this breaks. Yeah, I think that breaks right through. Well, it's breaking over here, which I think was the less penetration, low heat, where I didn't have enough heat going into it. Over here, I had too much, and it is actually holding in some spots. But uh, overall, that's where I'm at. All right, well, I'm back at it. Second day trying this weld, and this time, I definitely got plenty of penetration, but I pretty much just melted straight through the sheet metal. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, there's plenty of holes in there. So, still learning. At least that metal actually holds. That weld isn't going to break. So, I'm going to count that as progress. Alright, so for now I'm done fiddling with my T-joint. I'm going to try this slap joint now. And I have... Uh, learned from several tutorials that when you're doing 22 gauge steel or something really thin like that, it helps to actually weld on top of a thicker metal. It kind of tricks the metal into thinking that it's thicker. At least that's what I've seen. But I am trying to learn this so that I can uh, do it on a body panel, which is going to be pretty thin anyway. So I'm going to keep it hanging over the edge for now, see if I can get it to work. All 
All right, here's what I got. Let's see if it's strong. That's pretty darn good. All right, I think I'm getting to something a little closer to workable. All right, it's been a few days and I have done a bit more practice, gotten a little bit more comfortable with welding, and now it's time to take a look at the truck, see how invasive this rust actually is, and then give it a try. It's the next day. Uh, I bought a whole bunch more sanding gear. I have a flapper pad, the, the angle grinder. I have some small bits, uh, some round ones to get into some of the finer areas. And uh, my goal is to get it all cleaned up and prepped for welding. Um, and I want to weld at least one piece in. I want to weld that inner uh, angle iron into the inner structure here. That's the goal. All right, it's time to do a first test weld. So I disconnected the battery because I'm going to be grounding to the body of the truck and I don't want to mess up any of my electronics. So I'm going to be using this piece of angled steel to strengthen what was the pinch weld and to brace the jacking point for the truck. I'm drilling a few holes in here at key points so I can do some spot welds. All right, it's the next day here again. I successfully welded that first piece of angle in. I feel very happy and it's very strong. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is finish up that inner structure of the frame. And uh, I did some measurements. So I need a couple more pieces of angle. And I have some of this one inch in thickness uh, flat bar here. So I need one piece of that, two pieces of angle. I'm gonna cut that up and then get ready to weld. All right, here's the rusted out underside of the frame. So most of the structural support comes from this one here, this part. So it's not necessarily compromising the structural integrity of the truck, but it is compromising the jack point, which is right here. Um, so right on the other side of this, this is the new angle that I welded in. And over here, I'm going to weld up another piece of angle the angle cut here. I'm going to put it right in here and spot weld it. Put these dots into the pinch weld um, and it's underneath some of the 
stronger structural points above it. So it's going to give it a lot of rigidity. And then I'm going to weld another couple pieces in here and close up this hole. All right, I have it mocked up and all clamped in. Let's give it a shot. Take a look at what I got so far. Here's the first piece of angle on the outside of the truck. Second piece of angle is welded on the inside of the truck here. Got several spot welds in the key, key locations here. And this is up into healthy steel. This is into healthy steel. Over here, this is also into healthy steel and it's under a cross member, so the jack point is going to be nice and strong. I kind of want to test it out. That feels really good. I finished welding in that piece so I believe all my inner structure is done so just to recap I have two pieces of angle one here one here and then I have this bar running from post to post here and uh, I'm gonna spray everything in there with rust reformer just to try to get ahead of the game here and not let it rust anymore and I'm gonna weld a piece of metal right here I'm not sure yet if I'll do um, 16 gauge, or I think I have 16 or 18 gauge sheet metal, or maybe I'll do another one of these pieces of 1 8 right along the bottom here. All right, so I decided to go with the 16 gauge sheet metal, and I'm gonna weld that up as the bottom plate of the frame. And I'm just bending it right now because I need a lip to kind of fold in and under uh, some of the new metal that I put in place there. Here we go, that'll be the panel. I'll weld it all the way down here and in here on the edges and uh, hammer that in a little bit flatter. Same thing over here and that'll be done. It's all, I already sprayed everything inside there with some rust reformer so hopefully I can pr prevent more rusting. All right, let's check out my beautiful welds here. Honestly, I'm I'm pretty proud of myself. I think uh, I did a pretty good job for this being my first actual welding job. Welded in the uh, 16 gauge sheet metal, which is actually much stronger than I realized, to this 1 8 inch bar. And uh, did a bead along here, down in the bottom into this angle. I feel like this is very strong. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna paint it up, just spray it in, make it all black so you don't even notice it really. And then come out here and uh, try welding this thin 20 gauge, I think I have 20 gauge sheet metal to the body here. That's gonna be a challenge. Gotta try to make it look good. All right, here's the metal I'm gonna use. It's a 22 gauge sheet metal, which I know is a little bit thin, but that's what I got. And uh, I just kind of did an initial tracing of what I need to cut out. So I'm just going to cut this little rectangle out first and then get a little bit more detailed with it. All right, first cut and bend. I'm using these vice grips that have a nice flat bill on them. I can bend the metal in a pretty straight line. So I'm getting close. 
to tweak it a little bit, take a little material out of here. But I'm getting close. All right, I think this is very close to what I want. But now the age old question, I wanna get this on the inside. How am I gonna fit it inside there? This is gonna be fun. All right, I got it in there with a lot of finessing. I had to trim the edges really close and uh, finally got it in. Now I gotta make sure this comes out, comes outwards a little bit so that it gets nice and flush with the uh, existing sheet metal. And then I'll tack it into place. All right, it's all welded in there. Pretty much stitched it all the way around. I think I'm happy with how it is right now. I'm gonna grind it down a little bit, see if I need any more welds, and go from there. All right, it's sanded down. It's nicely in there. Next step, I'll use a little Bondo and then paint it black. All right, I finished the first layer of Bondo. I'll put a little glazing putty on there and paint it. While I was at it, I took care of a couple of rust bubbles around the uh, fender there. And if you watched one of my previous videos where I did a lot of body work around this fender, um, you'll see some of the rust still came through. Um, it was more of a temporary fix, just bondoing it. So I took care of some of that while I was at it. All right, I put the first layer of primer on. It's been drying for a day. I'm gonna sand it down a little bit, see if I need any more glazing putty, and then wet sand it and paint it. All right, I'm a few coats in, a few more to go, and then I'll do some clear coat. All right, here it is all painted and clear coated. I'll let that dry for a while and then buff it. All right, this has had a good three days to dry. So I'm gonna hit it with a 1,000 and then 2,000 grit sandpaper and then uh, do a little buffing. All right, here's the finished product. Pretty happy. This is where that rust hole was. Down here, I think it looks pretty good. All right, that's it for this one. Till next time, I'm Ever the Carl, and I'll see ya.